what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guides let's see what is going on Within the collective's connection at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Somebody told me to stop singing, and I'm just going to say I'll never stop singing because I channel my energy through music. And how rude. Just fast forward or click off. It's just so rude. <laughs> and I say all the time, I fucking, my voice is so annoying. And on top of that, I know I'm not on here to try to like blow up like Justin Bieber. I ain't no damn, I do not even in the least bit think I can sing okay so that's not why I get on here for none of that but I have to get the energy I have to feel the essence of that song and go through those words and get the feel of what is being said to tone down that to get that energy so I'm sorry I apologize but let's see mm. so we have somebody that's wanting to come and talk to you okay there is somebody that wants to have a conversation, have some kind of, this is a deep, this goes deeper than the weather, okay? Whatever this conversation is that this person wants to have with you, it goes deeper than uh, just the weather. This is somebody that wants to get back on the same page with you. There could be some falling out between you and this person recently, some things going bad between the two of you, the energy, the chemistry being off, okay? And I feel like it's really weighed down on whoever you're dealing with. It's weighed down on them heavily, okay? And whoever this person is, they definitely want to have a conversation with you. And this is just a deep talk. I feel like this person finds it very difficult to actually go into things deeper than um artificial it's very hard for this person to speak on feelings okay but this person really wants to let you know um wow that you are their divine feminine they know that you are their divine counterpart whether you're a male or a female okay this person sees you as their divine counterpart all right and this person mm, this person is worried there's an energy of this person thinking that you're hiding something from them, okay, and keeping something from them. There's an energy of them being scared that you're going to find somebody else or that you're hiding somebody else. Because something definitely has happened between the two of you. Whatever is going on here, though, this person definitely wants to fix things and make it right. This person knows that they got to go deeper than surface level when it comes to you, okay? And so there's this energy of them wanting, it's like, I don't know if something's been off with the two of you guys for a while. So whoever this person is, they want to finally get on the same page with you again. Oh, yeah. Because this person loves the fuck out of you. And I feel like whatever has happened or transpired between the two of you guys has made this person realize how much they do love you. This person admires the fuck out of you, okay? Adore, enchantment. There's rain coming down on their heads and they're sitting here kissing. You know, this person wants to show love in another kind of way. I feel like this person has backed down, okay? They haven't really opened up that gentle loving side of themselves fully okay it's like an it's where you know they love you but it's very hard for them to show it with actions and treatment and this is something there's something in this energy where maybe you could have talked to somebody else or somebody could have commented on something of yours and this was you know, somebody that maybe said you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, whatever, okay? But there's an, there's this person being scared that they're divine feminine, yeah, threatened, embarrassed appearances. This person is scared that you're moving on, that you're going to leave them behind because there has been some kind of feeling where the energy has just been off. And I definitely feel like this is a twin flame. This is a soulmate that you're dealing with. But the energy and the chemistry has just been off lately. And so, 
there's an energy of you mirroring each other and both of you guys pulling away and just kind of being like, fuck it. But something happened in between there where maybe somebody commented on your stuff. Sorry, y'all, I have the door open. And I live on a back road, but there's a train track right next to it. And they're all, every year, they're working on the same fucking track road, like tra railroads. What are y'all doing? Anywho, um, but there's this, like, somebody saw something, somebody commented on something. They might have saw somebody calling your phone, texting, whatever this is. There's, there's them being scared that you're going to move on, that you're moving forward, that you could be hiding something, keeping a secret from them. This is what has made this person be like, okay, all right, I got to start doing things differently. I got to start showing love, this love to my person more openly. I need to give more than I take. You know, there's this energy of them because... It's more them not showing, them being really closed off, them acting like they don't care. And it's like this divine feminine needs more than that. Yeah, I feel like this person could have had a dream about you moving on with somebody else. You know when you have a dream, right? And it, you wake up pissed the fuck off, even knowing that it's a dream, but whatever happened in the dream, like you wake up mad, you know, like this is kind of what happened here. It's like your spirit guide sent this person a look into the future if they don't get their shit together. Whether there is somebody else that commented on anything or they saw anything, Spirit sent this person a dream, okay? Um, and the dream was you being happy with somebody else. The dream was you truly being happy with somebody else. And the dream didn't go into what was going on with your person. The dream basically was you and this other person happy as fuck. And you know, in your dreams, you can't really see yourself. I'm feeling the anxiety that in the pit of, you know, you have that, in, you can get that roller coaster feeling in your dreams and that scared feeling and that anxiety and that panic, right? And, and it's like they were having a nightmare almost because the dream was you with somebody else happily and this kind of woke this person up because i'm telling you your energies have been off you guys have been pulling away okay and now it's almost like because there's an energy of somebody being fed up here whether it's a twin flame like somebody telling themselves like whether it's a twin flame or not like i can't keep dealing with this i can't keep going like this and them pulling away not doing the work after you have done the work so you're tired of doing the work, okay? Because there's an energy of somebody just being tired. And so here they come in and they in spirit sends them this dream. It's such a beautiful dream. Was you happy with somebody else? Living life and them having to watch this. And it was like a nightmare for them. So it's almost like this person wants to talk. There's an energy of you guys having this beautiful energy together in the beginning. And it's, man... You guys just knew there was something different about this energy, but it's done fell off. Something has happened along the way. But this is them wanting to get back to those times. This is them wanting to have those conversations with you. Go a little deeper. Fall in love with you all over again and let you fall in love with them all over again. Because this love is in the middle. See, but this dream doesn't scare the hell out of them. Yeah, pressure cooker. Ooh, and literally I was just saying, okay, because the alien card, that dream card was the last one to come out, right? And I was literally saying, like, have you ever woke up just from a dream mad as fuck, right? And now look at what's at the bottom. Pressure cooker rage ready to explode. This person has woke up from this dream mad as motherfuck. It's like whatever spirit sent them in this dream done lit a fire, okay? And has them in this pressure cooker. It's like the pressure is on. They don't ever want to see that dream manifest into reality. They do not. And this person is pissed, but it's like they're not ready to explode at you 
They're not right. They're not pissed at you. They're pissed at themselves. This person is just so fucking mad at themselves for not seeing and treating like you better, you know? Mm, mm, mm. So this person is online though, like <laughs> this dream. Okay, so this dream <coughs> really has this person feeling like it's true. Whatever done happened. So whether they saw somebody commenting on Facebook, had this dream, saw something iffy. It has this person really like freak the fuck out. This person is online. They're searching. They're literally, I can't make this up. This person is online looking looking for info records online okay this person could be like going through your likes going through your comments they're trying to figure out who this mystery man is and there might not even be no fucking mystery man this is just a dream that they had but it has this person really feeling like this shit was real it's almost like they feel like they they had a vision right and so they feel like this vision is true and that this is something that you could be doing. And if anybody even comments on your stuff, says, oh, you're beautiful or anything, they're like thinking that this is the dude, right? <laughs> or this is the chick, whatever it is. And now they're in this state of panic. This, look, them wanting to meet up. What you don't see, bottom of the deck. It says, two or more people, disgusting planning. This could, person could try to make up a scenario, maybe like, let, let's meet up with this person. Um, we can, we're going to plan this. Whatever this is, it's like, they're going to act like they're not coming alone. They could try to lure you in by saying, you know, this is a family thing or whatever this is. But this person definitely wants to talk and they want to get on the same page with you face to face. They want to meet up with you. This person wants to make sure you're... <laughs> this person is scared. This person might be trying to get you pregnant, okay? Because look, tuned in, here it goes again, internet connected, mental prison lockdown, and they know that motherfucking time is running out. So we have, you know, whatever this is. Now this person could have gotten somebody else pregnant, but this card is just entrapment, money, heartstrings. So it's like you could just have a pull on this person's heartstrings, you know? And it's like they can't get away from it. This person does want to entrap you in some kind of way. Like, if you can't have children, there's this energy of this person wishing that you could have children. This person is really mentally freaking out and mentally breaking down with whatever this is. They might have saw somebody like, like your shit, comment on your shit have you whatever it's like they're going crazy like they wake up and they go online and they look at your your facebook to see what you posted see what's been commented they go to your instagram whatever you have okay tiktok shit they, they're looking now if you don't have social media this could be something that has them panicked it's because they can't find anything online they can't find anything about what's going on in in your life but either way they're in this lockdown energy look at that man on that card mental prison confined now there could be somebody that is locked up here okay there could be somebody that's dealing with somebody that is locked up and if you're dealing with somebody that's locked up this person could be like hoping that you come and visit them with that interview and meeting card That's not for everybody. Maybe they're about to get out soon. TikTok deadline, time running out. Okay, that's not for everybody. Um, but we have soulmate at the bottom of the deck. We know that this is your soulmate, and right now they're so like mentally locked down. They're in this mental prison about what's going on within this connection and it's like whether it's like they're searching but not finding anything so it's like whether you have social media or not they're searching but not finding anything and so this is making them freak out even more
this person knows that their time is running out okay mm -hmm. we have roller coaster adrenaline highest rush and then we have come together reconciliation so you know there's something about this love there's something about when the two of you guys are on good terms it's like the highest rush the highest high that form of adrenaline and it, it makes this person feel like they're on a roller coaster ride it could be a lot of ups and downs but it's like the best feeling in the world for this person and so there's nothing more that than this person wants more in this life than to come Come back together to reconcile to fix what has been broken it says spiritual union soul contract reconciliation and this is what is coming them wanting to come back together with you this spiritual union this soul contract this deep energy that they and you have felt from the beginning but something kind of fell off in between they want to make this work they want to fix this all right all right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.